Hey everyone, uh, we get to talk about something that's not Mario related. Are you kidding me? I know the Mario videos have been popping off. You guys have been loving them. Who knows how many more there is to come. I, I will at least have one more Mario video, Mario 3D All-Stars, because I plan to give some impressions of uh, the overall game collection pack over the weekend. Uh, so stay tuned for that as possibly a Sunday video. Uh, but before that, uh, we have to talk about Joy-Con Drift. Because Joy-Con Drift is back in the news because it never really went away. Yeah. So before we get into that, 3D All-Stars is a thing. Uh, we're giving away three copies of it. Hit that gleam.io link down in the description. Also, we're giving away a Switch Lite and then two Switch games of choice as well. There's a laundry list of ways to enter down below, including patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, for as little as $1 a month, it gets you 15 entries into every giveaway we do. Uh, you might as well just stay a Patreon member because we do giveaways every single month. I'll let you guys know what October's giveaway is as we get towards the end of this month and we start to wrap up these giveaways. Six total winners announced all on October 1st. Uh, that laundry list of items includes subscribing to the channel. So you might as well subscribe. We're on our road to 50K. And the way it's going, we'll be on our road to 100K before the end of the month. So let's just, let's keep Nintendo Prime rocking. So a fan took Nintendo to court over Joy-Con Drift. Now that's where these Joy-Cons here, um, kind of your character starts to move without you meaning to because the stick grind or it's really because there's the, the design of it. Now we've talked in the past, I've actually made a video quite a while ago about how to fix your Joy-Con Drift and how to do it in a way that's semi-permanent. Really, it just gets you an extra year or two out of your Joy-Cons before they're fully complete. Uh, link to that video down below for you guys that are interested in that. Also, um, you could just straight up take apart your Joy-Con and replace the joystick. Now, Nintendo of America and Nintendo of other places do offer repairs uh, for free. Nintendo is basically admitting publicly that this happens. There's also an active clash action lawsuit over this. But you know what? One fan just wanted a damn refund. He was tired of it. He had his Joy-Cons fixed twice by Nintendo and said, you know what? I've had enough. I want a refund. And he was denied that refund by Nintendo. He wasn't happy with that. So he went to court. And he won. Here's what happened. All right. So as you see, the story was posted on Reddit. But there is evidence that he provides to prove that this is legit. Uh, so, uh, this user by the name of crown shots says, I took Nintendo to court over controller issues and won. I bought a Nintendo switch about 18 months ago and within a few weeks already encountered that well-known issue with the controllers being very new to the switch and having not owned a Nintendo console since the game boy advance. I had no idea this issue was widespread until I was browsing the subreddit and then the rest of the internet after two failed repairs that each took over a month to be returned. I requested a partial refund, which in the EU is part of your consumer rights. If something's broken and has already been repaired once and further repairs would take unreasonably long, you may request a full or partial refund. I opted for partial because I actually liked the console and was happy to put the money towards a replacement controller. I'd already asked customer support if they could just send a replacement set to me and I mailed them back the broken ones they refused. They said a refund is not possible. The only route is another repair. I knew this was nonsense, so I asked to be put in touch with someone who might know better, either a manager or a legal department. The rep told me no such department existed and that a manager wouldn't know about these rights either. After pushing the rep a bit more politely to see if he was absolutely certain about this, since such a refusal is illegal, he just flat out told me to seek legal action and disconnected. Well, that was sound advice, even if they meant it sarcastically. First up, I emailed and wrote to Nintendo to ask for their official complaints process. After several more attempts to get this information and not receiving a response over a month, I moved on to the next step, dispute resolution. Since their website says they don't participate in alternate dispute resolution, I tried an ombudsman because Nintendo HQ is a different country to me. They said there's nothing they can do. So I had no choice but to open a case with small claims court. I entered all the information and uploaded the evidence which by that point had been over a period of 16 months since purchasing the console. They didn't bother to respond to the claim within the 21 days, which meant that I could take it directly to judgment. Suddenly, when the judgment was sent out and they were ordered to pay, they emailed me saying, we're sorry, we didn't respond to the claim. We are currently receiving lots of emails, as though legal issues come last. But funnily enough, they posted a cookie-cutter email of the next two steps I should take to receive payment and what to tell the court. 
odd for a company that has no legal department. They also said they normally respond to such cases, but I'm assuming they say that to scare anyone away from taking action in the future. Not that I want to, anyways. Throughout this long, drawn-out process, it was sad to see so many stories of exactly the same issue and exactly the same treatment. And what annoyed me most was a lot of these people just don't have the time, money, or will to fight back. And I totally get that. So the Bing N gets away with it. It wasn't fun or easy for me at all, and I have zero background in legal issues of any kind. So this was all brand new and scary for me. But I knew it was the right thing to do. And what annoys me most of all is that this is a family slash kids console. They deserve better treatment, especially for the premium price tag. So please, if you have issues with their support, don't give up and don't take no for an answer if you know you're right. Now, here's the evidence he provided. Um, you know, this uh, it says your money claims account, make a new money claim, claims you've made, claim number, doesn't give the number, of course, or the amount, um, Nintendo of Europe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, it looks like um, that this person uh, won. They beat Nintendo. They got a refund. Uh, I assume, I'm hoping the claim refund includes legal fees because there are legal fees associated even if you are just representing yourself and he ended up not consulting a lawyer, he or she didn't consult a lawyer, you know, you, you still, you know, in, incur legal fees. There's filing fees and all that jazz. Uh, so I'm assuming the claim amount covers not only, you know, the price of new Joy-Cons, but also covers, uh, you know, all the legal fees because if it doesn't, that'd be pretty BS. And Yes, we as fans shouldn't have to jump through these legal hoops to get a refund, especially in Europe where it is law. It is legally required for you to give a partial or full refund upon request after a repair has been done at least one time. And obviously, they don't know a new repair would be deemed to be an unreasonable amount of time. Over a month is pretty unreasonable for most consumers when you could just get a refund, hop over to, to a store, and just buy a new set right away. Yes, this person kept their Switch. They're happy with their Switch. They like the, the Switch. They like the library. But Joy-Con Drift is a real issue. And it is a shame that it's taking fans, taking things into their own hands to go after Nintendo. This is obviously in the UK. This is in Europe. Laws are different here in the United States. Even more expensive to fight it. You go to small claims court if you need to for a refund. It, it, I don't know. You might not even need to. Nintendo of America might be a little more flexible. They do have a massive legal team at Nintendo of America. So you, they can't argue that, oh, you know, we don't have legal representation. That's just somebody talking BS out there. But Nintendo has legal representation in every country they're in. But, uh, yeah, the Switch is a great system. But one of the many flaws has been Joy-Con Drift. And it's a shame that it's not fixed yet. You know, they've had two revisions right we have the switch light and we have this this is technically the red box switch this is that switch right here that red box one that's a revision and they didn't fix joy con drift in the switch light or in the revision and you have to wonder why is nintendo not doing it they clearly know it's an issue because they changed their repair policies and offer free repairs on joy cons which means they know joy con drift is a problem so why haven't they fixed it you know are they waiting for the switch pro or whatever that's supposed to come next year supposedly rumored it's it's really baffling and frustrating that uh it takes fans taking things in their own account to get nintendo to do what they're legally obligated to do now if only that class action lawsuit going on against nintendo which is in the u.s happens and like we win because if we win and my name is on that class action lawsuit by the way along with thousands of other people if that class action lawsuit wins, it's not so much that I care about the reparations and getting a small payment for like the cost of my Joy-Cons or whatever. I don't care about that. What I care about is Nintendo being held accountable so they fix the problem. Because if they keep having these legal cases come up, Nintendo's just going to fix the problem at some point because it's less of a hassle. Now, one person in small claims court in the UK is not going to change anything. But thousands of people? Millions? I mean, there's 60 plus million of these switches out there. I'm just saying that uh, I'm, I, you know, you should really be pushing for these class action lawsuits since Nintendo seems unwilling to fix it otherwise. And the more of them that win, the more of these smallest claims that go through, the higher chance Nintendo will finally fix Joy-Con Drift. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned. Our next video is going to be about the PlayStation 4, or I should say the PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X. I uh, got some. There's a, a PlayStation 5 event actually happening tomorrow. There's some leaks for that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about um, which system I plan to pick up and why. Uh, yeah. And by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, we're really, really close to 50,000 subscribers. Um, 
it definitely looks like we're going to hit 50K. And if we hit 50K, I'm giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, and or a Nintendo Switch in the month of November. And because of Zelda games in there, we'll probably have a couple copies of that given away as well for three winners. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, we will have a giveaway next month. Again, I'll announce what that giveaway is closer we get to it. It's not going to be this crazy big console giveaway like we did this month and in November. But, yeah. And you know what? I mean, do I get crazy here? What happens if we hit 100,000 before the end of the year? I don't think that can happen. That can't be possible, right? What happens if we hit 100,000 before the end of the year? I'll tell you what. If we hit 100,000 by January 1st of uh, 2021, I will uh, do the biggest giveaway we've ever done. The biggest giveaway we've ever done. And think about that. We're doing $500 worth of stuff this month. We're going to have over $500 in November. The biggest giveaway is it going to be $1,000 worth of stuff. Stay tuned to find out. All right, folks, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Thank you for uh, watching my videos. It's been a pleasure to see so many new faces and old faces and everyone just really enjoying the content lately. <sighs> Stay tuned, man. This next video, I don't I actually think it's going to do well view-wise, but it's not about the views, everyone. People think I make videos for the views. It's about what I'm interested in, and this is what I'm interested in today. Have a good one.